Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about how you can use WLED on the WT32 ETH01 device and why sometimes it might not work. And I had some um, of these boards with WLED on them. I did some updates and they stopped working. And I want to talk about why that is the case. I figured it out and I wanted to share it with you guys online. That way if you have any um, similar issues, you can troubleshoot them pretty easily. So let's begin. So WT32 ETH01 is a great board. It supports ethernet. So it's really nice for WLED because you can kind of use ethernet on that one and you can kind of um, make it a lot more reliable than having to use Wi-Fi. Um, but some of the issues I've been facing with these boards specifically is with what data pins to use. Um, on the older versions of WLED, it was more unrestricted um, in terms of data pins. So you could use more pins. You could use um, non-reserved pins and stuff. Pretty much any data pin you could use on the board. Um, but now at this point, they do require um, you to use certain pins on the board. Um, and this could be because they realize that only some work better than others or whatever the case may be. Um, but it is important to note that according to WLED, pins 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 24, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 15, and 14 cannot be used with WLED on this board. So um, in the past, I've used ports 14 and 15. I've also used pins number 35, and those are off limits at this point. So um, the only pins you're able to use on this is pins 2, 4, 5, 12, and 17. I um, mean, that's fine. So you can still do like five LED outputs from these things. Um, it's really not that big a deal, but it took me a while to figure out. Um, some symptoms of this issue uh, were that I updated WLED on like some of my bed lights and my bed lights stopped or they were like half brightness for some reason. It was really odd. Um, so I switched the data pins or actually reverted back to a previous update and it was fine. Um, but I realized afterwards that switching the data pins also fixes the issue. So you may have noticed like my server rack lights for a while were pretty dark. That was also due to this issue, WLED 15.0. Um, did um, add some changes there to, I don't know how it drives the LEDs, but it did change kind of how it's driven, I think, um, in the sense that it doesn't support certain pins. So if you're already using an unsupported pin and you update WLED, then it does seem like the brightness will be cut down quite a bit. Um, I don't know if that's intentional or unintentional. It could just be a bug that happens, but it is just something worth, worth noting. So I did want to make this video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Um, I get a lot of views on the videos that I make about these boards, so I wanted to make sure that as many people as possible know about this bug um, and that you're only able to use pins 2, 4, 5, 12, and 17 for WLED on this thing. So um, yeah, that's about all for this video. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.